and uh, welcome to this installment of Frank and Mary here on Nantucket. Um, if you haven't seen the show before, my name is Art Bergeron. I'm an attorney. I work at a firm called Myrick O'Connell back in America uh, in central Massachusetts. There are 70 of us, so everybody gets to do what they like, and I like doing elder law. So originally, uh, I started doing these shows a few years ago thinking they'd be about law, but they never were. They were always really about what you need to know as a senior. And specifically, if, you, if you've been to any of my presentations and you've seen my friends Frank and Mary, uh, whose goal in life is to live in their house until they die and be buried in the backyard, what you need to know as a senior in Nantucket, if that's what you wanna do in Nantucket, you just wanna stay home and you wanna know who are the people you need to know and the, what are the programs you need to know about to be happily in your home here on Nantucket. And so I recruited as my co-host, Allison Forsgren, um, because she just seemed to know everybody and I had known her from the Friends of Our Island Home Board. Um, and she always ends up finding these great people to be talking about current issues. Uh, there are several of them right now. There's town meeting coming up. There's big things happening. And so Allison has a great guest, so thank you, Allison. You're welcome. Who's here today? I would like to introduce you to Dawn Holgate. Uh, she is vice chair of the select board, former chair, and also on the senior building committee. Is that what you called it? The senior center, center work, work group. group. Work group. Yeah. Yeah. And so, and she's not stressed right now because she's not running for re-election. No, nope, right. She's not this, is all, this is all good. This is a good. Um, but, there's, but the town meeting is coming. The town meeting is coming, yes. and April first. April first at, at six o'clock. Yes. Yes. Please, Monday, everyone. Monday, April first. Please, everyone, go. Um, but Don, we'd like to ask you a few questions about the um, current plans for the senior center. Mm -hmm. There's been some yep, we, vacillation. We, so we, we've made some progress in. Um, getting on, onto a path. Um, we, we had a number of meetings where we talked about potential sites and Sherburne Commons was the most viable. It's town property. The, the Sherburne Commons organization is very interested in having it on the property. We had reserved um, a certain portion of that land for a potential future island home, which the community has decided is not the direction that they want to go in. Um, and it would be an amendment to the lease to build a senior center there in in a similar location as to where the island home might have gone. An amendment to the to the lease between the town and, and the Sherburn Commons. Because all that land is all of that land is just leased land. It wow. is yes. It's a long term lease. It's a long term lease. Mm -hmm. And so is, have the selectmen kind of really decided that's, that is the right place. That well, that them? that's the recommendation of the work group. Then yeah. a bit of a a wrench got thrown in it in a potentially very positive way where the Nantucket Inn became an option um, mm -hmm. because that was identified as a place for, they want to sell and it was identified as a place that could fulfill some of our affordable housing needs. And then there's that main building. And when we went through the needs of a senior center, it checked most of the boxes, um, if not all. But at the moment, that is unfortunately off the table. So we'll continue on the path of a, of a new facility at Sherburn Commons. I see. I see. And, and I'm just curious, once again, as an outlander, because I remember being here a few weeks ago and that was on the table. So is, is, it, is it potentially ever going to come back it on? Is, it is, is potential. That? The owners have another potential buyer that they were more interested in pursuing and getting a clear answer if that was viable before continuing with the town. Um, but with town meeting looming on April 1st, we, we couldn't continue our due diligence without more of a commitment from the owners. We'll have a better idea by the end of the month where they stand, but it, at this stage it would be a fall town meeting. I see. In terms of appropriations. I and see. so And so the Nantucket Inn is not off the table. It's not off the table, but it's, it's a very unknown yeah. at this time. And we had always discussed that we would still continue with a, 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 pl a planning phase on the Sherburne Commons site because we didn't know if Nantucket Inn would pass, if it was you know definitely what people would want for the senior center. It just, it, it, it fit a lot of the needs. They've got really good and, reviews with people who went through the building. Yeah. yeah. Which was nice. Yes, absolutely. Um, so can you just, I'm just curious, can you just kind of talk about, I know that Julie, Julie Fitzgerald was, was, was with us a while ago, but can you just kind of talk about kind of your sense of 
what would end up being in the in the senior mm -hmm. center. I know you were kind of on that on that committee. Yes, Julie's been the chair of our committee. Because I, um, I visited the current one a few times. It is a little crowded. Right. It's it's far too small yeah. for the community's needs. You really can't have multiple things going on at once. Um, so we've looked at a number of the facility plans for off island, and um, and what they incorporated into them. And there's just just a lot more. You know, like it um, dedicated exercise room. Um, multiple spaces where you can have meetings, where you, like there's dedicated game rooms where everything stays set up. Right now, everything gets broken down and put back up and broken down and put right. back up for the for the current senior center. Um, and um, and you know just even like a lobby where people can just sit and chat or read a book, but and it's a, a place and, to. Um, yeah, storage. There's yes, so many things there's so many things that they need. Um, so right now, the facility is around three thousand square feet, yeah, I think. I think so. um, and I mean, we're definitely looking at something ten or more. We, we if you're going to build, you want to build it to. Um, you don't want to build it twice. To the future, right? Yeah. At, you know, at least um, some projection into the future's needs. And there's been talk of other potential community uses that could be incorporated when it's not solely dedicated to senior center programming, mm -hmm. that there might be some opportunity for meetings in the evenings if there's not dinners going on, or if there's a totally separate room that's not being used evenings, weekends. There's been talk about whether it could be built in such a way that there could be some emergency shelter use. I see. Which you know, a lot right of now we centers. use the high school yeah. as an emergency shelter, and that yeah. is still a very needed location. But there might, but when you know power goes out in Tom Nevers and it's out for a week, and the school's reopened because there's power in town, we don't really have a place for those those people to go. Um, so just th all of those things have been talked about as something that could be incorporated into the facility ultimately. And do you already have like a consultant and all that jazz to kind of work with you on? Well, there's an article for town meeting that appropriates $100,000 to really dig into the site layout at Sherburne Commons and the analysis of what the actual footprint will be and number of floors, that kind of thing. I see. And that will take into account the proposed usage and programming and stuff? Yes, that is my understanding. I mean, $100,000 sounds like a lot of money, but it really is just a, a start. Yes. <laughs> the ultimate planning will will have to go much deeper. Right. And so right. Um, so they've also talked about adding on to the Sherburn Commons where the current PASCON um, offices are. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about that? There's some opportunity for that space, but it really needs complete reconfiguration and would need an addition. And I think ultimately it won't be large enough. But it, it could there could be some incorporation of a temp, temporary mm -hmm. use. Um, but I think... My my opinion as one member of the board and of the select board is that a standalone facility that's completely designed as a senior center from the beginning is probably going to be the better option with their own parking and just a, a little bit separated from the Sherman Commons And facility. so do you see that as potentially being a satellite spot um, while the... Salt Marsh Center on Washington Street is small. I, mean, I think that that's a, that's potential. Um, I think we really have to analyze how much renovation would be needed mm -hmm. and whether the money is best spent there for temporary. Um, and we'd need to work it all out with Sherman Commons, mm -hmm. who's been. I mean, so far they've been extremely open to making this happen, but it has to make sense for them. Right. Right. Yeah, because it sounds like it's really consistent with their kind of long-term vision of really making that the kind of the central place from which senior services kind of emanate and mm -hmm. to which people go. So that would really be ideal. And there's d definitely a need for satellite space now for for programming at the there Salt is. Marsh. It would be wonderful to have a dedicated spot for that. Yes. While we're growing and waiting for what's happening next to happen. Right, because we are, pro you know, we're probably a few years away from even breaking ground on a building oh. with the amount of planning that you mm. need to do and the way government works. At least two 
Jesus, it seemed like government works pretty well here. <laughs> it's like it moves right along. Do you think so? I don't know. Well, you know, compared to a lot of places I go to, right? Wow. But that's good that's, to hear. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Thank you. That's, really, <laughs> that's really true. Well, it's pretty cohesive. So you've got town meeting coming. Anything else coming that would be of, of, of interest to seniors here? Um, and we're continuing to work on the island home and, and what the future is there. But there will be more to come on that. I was just going <laughs> to say. Once we, get, once we get the analysis more underway, a firm has been chosen. To kind of do the analysis? To do the analysis of building on site. I see. And is there any sense of what the timing on that would be in terms of the, you know, when, when you'd be getting I'm hoping public we'll meetings or results or whatever? have some understanding of what we might be able to bring to next year's town meeting. Yes. Next April. So they won't be looking for a fall town meeting to deal with the yeah, island? I don't think we'll be there yet to have an article ready, mm -hmm. uh, but hopefully we'll have a direction by fall to be able to really propose something and do the outreach for spring. So the article that's the, the finance article mm -hmm. that talks about um, Sherman Commons is something that should still be supported by people who want to see the senior center built correct? absolutely and it's the discussion about the programming and the space needs will be viable on any site great yeah even if it was going into an existing building yeah, and even if it w were to go to Nantucket Inn mm -hmm. the same you're running a parallel um, process here with that yes great we, we want to keep both potentials on track to be able to get to the ultimate goal of having a senior center within the next few years Timing is everything yeah. in these days. And yeah. it takes a long time to build something. It's got to be a challenge to be doing that at the same time you're trying to figure out the island home because those are both obviously really big projects. You know, they're both yes. they're big money projects, you know, and they have a major effect on the community, right? So trying to pull it all off, is a, that's got to be a real challenge. And we've had and so many large projects. I don't want them to compete with each other either. Right. Both of these things are needed. Right. So now, can I just, add, I'm just curious, can I just ask, because, you know, you've been a selectman now for a while, and, and obviously you're dealing with folks all the time who are seniors here. What, what, is, your, what is your sense as a selectman of kind of like, what are, what, what are seniors looking for? What, what's good and bad about what seniors have here? What do you think the future should look like? Just curious, I'm just curious. Because um, I, I, I noticed from coming here, obviously there's a senior population that just kind of keeps on growing. Right. 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 I, th I think more and more people are choosing to retire here, and um, for good reason. Yeah. I have to say, you know, it's 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 wonderful. It's mm -hmm. really wonderful. And as I always tell folks when, I, when I'm here, you know, you, you kind of don't you don't realize that if you're not living on the island, how cohesive it is. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're here, it, it, it maybe feels like it isn't, but compared to any normal place, right, where there's all these competing interests, I, mean, I, I think it's just this sense of people, they know they're on the island, and if it's not here, it's just too hot far to get to, <laughs> right, to get a, to get anything. And so people seem to like really look out for each other, which is great. Right? Yes, absolutely. I mean, I think, I think that we need to expand our home health care services. I think we do need to redo the island home. Um, we need a bigger senior center. I mean, we, we need all of these things that we've been talking about. Um, I think that we'll have, we will need and probably may already need some more dedicated to seniors um, mm -hmm. affordable housing options. We have Landmark House and Academy Hill, and um, they're full. Just full, and there's a pretty long waiting list. Mm -hmm. And it's yeah, and it, it's easy. harder for people to downsize here to stay. Um, there, there's just not as many available options. There's just not a lot of options. Yeah. Right. And Sherpa Commons, I believe, is full too. Last I I heard I'm pretty sure they're full too, yeah. or you know, where they need to be anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's been an amazing transition. Mm -hmm. Yes, right from Absolutely. years. And you remember coming? Well, like, the first years that I was coming over, who was the first? Who was the executive director for many years? Chuck Gifford. Chuck, yes. And he, and, he, and he'd talk about it, you know, and he'd say, you know, just got this wonderful facility, but there just were no people, right? And and I think he so he was so delighted when the nonprofit kind of started evolving. Mm -hmm. and, well, it, and it's just been, it seems like it's been a slam dunk in terms of its, you know, their the capacity, I think. I think it took so long for them to get the permitting to build it, and then when it was completed or almost completed is when the market sort of when took it, 
a dive. Right. So it was a challenge to make that up afterward. Um, there are a lot, a lot of challenges in there, but it looks great. But, and, I, and I think, once again, from my having seen pl a lot of places on the mainland, this notion, I think the fact that it's now controlled by a nonprofit, I think has, it seems like has changed the whole tenor of the place too. I mean, because people are really focused on what they're looking for. Like with the island home, as I always, I always, I always tell my friend Allison, you know, that, that at other places, I always talk about the island home, right? And say, you know, this is actually, from my experience, the best nursing home I've ever been to. Because, not because it's like beautiful, right? But because it's like the right size. It's the right size and it's like locally controlled, right? And so it just works well. It, uh, yeah, it definitely works well. <clears throat> it, works, it works really well. So how much is on that, the Warren article? This is a Warren article number 10. Number 10. Number 10. And we confirmed that it's actually 150. It's $150,000. And that's, that's coming from, from what budget? Is that coming from some other established fund or just the general fund? Um, I can't remember oh. if it's coming from the general funder from free, free cash. Mm -hmm. Same thing, really. <laughs> and how many, it's all just, yeah. once again, just as a curiosity, how many people typically go to town meeting here? Is it like a thousand? Is it a hundred? Because I know many towns, it's really you know people just have trouble getting a quorum. Is there is do, are there usually pretty good attendance here? Six hundred on a good day. Six hundred on a on a very good day. Yeah, sometimes we have it dips a to, quorum issue. Yeah. for the fall town meeting. For the fall town meeting, mm -hmm. but spring usually people show up. It depends on what the depends on what's hot there. topic is. Well, I'm sorry that I'm going to miss the town meeting. But thank you very, very much for finding this wonderful person for us to talk to. You're welcome. Thank you very, very much for coming You're on. Welcome. This was Thanks really educational. I think it'll help people, and I hope it'll help you um, when you when you uh, head to town meeting, and you should head to town meeting. This is a really important topic, right? The, the senior center, if you haven't been there, it is a little crowded, and so I think this could really be a wonderful thing for, for, the, uh, for the community. Thank you very, very much. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Thank you, Allison. Thank you, Arthur. And uh, thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you on the next installment of Frank and Mary on Nantucket. Thank you very much.